Hey everybody, I'm getting ready to show you uh, the second video I'm making for a machine that's on Craigslist and this is for the Neki BU Nova. This machine was made in the early 1950s in Italy and it, it has the distinction of being the very first brand of sewing machine that offered a zigzag stitch in a home machine. Until, that, until then, uh, all home machines were straight stitch only. So. Uh, the Necky company was very innovative for its time. Uh, this machine has a feature that some vintage machines have, but not all. So before I actually demonstrate its stitching capability, I'm going to show you, if you look, here's the needle here. And this lever allows you to adjust needle position. Uh, for some people who sew, uh, a few of you may have a need to get your needle where it is uh, to the left of the actual center for sewing, and then here's center again, and then you can actually go to the right. Uh, many of you won't need this, but if you do, this is one of the few vintage machines that offers adjustable needle position. Uh, you have zigzag capability, which is adjusted here, and there's a slider lever. Right now it's set for a straight stitch, but I'll, I'll show you the zigzag in a moment. <coughs> and then your stitch length is uh, adjusted here. And right now, what you'll see, it looks like a magic trick, but these two pieces of, uh, this is spring-loaded. It's really, really a clever little uh, device so that uh, when it is set here, you can uh, adjust your stitch length to either long or short. I'm going to start off with a long stitch length so you guys can see the quality of the stitch that it makes. This machine is, uh, again, it was the first home machine to have zigzag, and it has one of the tightest zigzag stitches I've ever seen on a machine, period. And uh, it's particularly popular with people who sew upholstery weight fabrics. Also, people who sew uh, sails. A lot of people have boats. Uh, often, uh, when they contact me, people who are boat people, for some reason, contact me about this machine in particular. So... Uh, but anyway, I'm going to start off with a with a stitch here and show you how it works. In the photos that I have listed uh, on the Craigslist ad, you will see a picture of the cabinet. It has a beautiful cabinet with it. I find that the older machines had really, some of them have amazing cabinetry uh, that was very expensive to buy because when you bought a new machine back in the day, it didn't often come with a cabinet. You had to pay extra for that. So... Whoever bought this machine new paid a lot of money extra to get the cabinet with it. And I'll, uh, right now, let's come down. There we go. And I'm sewing on sort of a dense, fairly lightweight, but densely woven fabric. And it's black. And I try really hard to pick thread colors and fabric colors that combined will show the stitch because I really want you to, see the stitch. When you're shopping for a vintage machine or any machine, you should always look at its stitch quality. <clears throat> this machine has an amazing level of control. I'm applying just a small amount of pressure and you can literally see the needle moving up and down. Let me see if I can zoom in for you folks and then you can maybe get a better picture of that needle and what it's doing here. That's far enough away. That's pretty amazing. Now, if you, if you slow down too much, it stops. But that's a pretty amazing level of control. That's good for people who are new to sewing, or sometimes even if you're a, a very skilled sewer, you need to have that level of control depending on what you're doing. So I'm going to take this off. And let's see if that shows up there. There you go. Yeah. And again, I, I started with the really long length stitch here. Uh, it makes really beautiful stitches. And then if you look on the back, the bottom, um, the bottom bobbin thread is actually white. And I tried to do two different colors of thread. So you can see that the stitch is balanced on the top and the bottom. And I had earlier done some, uh, this is the turquoise thread on the machine in garment weight leather. But I'll run it through again for you guys so you can see. Actually, I have a different piece of leather. Let's, uh, some earlier threading of blue, but this is turquoise. So let's see if that will show up for us. Some leathers and vinyls can be sticky when you try to sew them. 
And if that happens to you, you can use <clears throat> what's called a roller foot. And I have, actually, I'll, I'll see if I can, see if it comes up on the video here. I have quite a few feet and accessories that are gonna come with this machine. And one of those is going to be, um, let's get you centered back here where you guys can see. Uh, one of those is going to be a roller foot, which I will pull out for you. <clears throat> and this roller foot is useful because sometimes with a heavy fabric uh, or, or a garment weight leather or a vinyl, this can help prevent binding under the foot and, uh, and allows the machine to, to sew materials that you normally could not. And I'm going to show you in just a moment, you'll see, and I can of course backpack here. <clears throat> going to shorten my stitch just a bit. Now this, this is garment weight leather. It's feeding just fine. And I'm going to show you the beautiful stitch that it made in the garment leather. Um, you can see the long stitch here. And uh, it's the turquoise uh, thread that you should be looking at. I think I'm getting a little shine here. There we go. And then on the other side, it is white. And here's the white uh, back stitch. So again, it's a very balanced stitch. Um, <clears throat> and I've done this, I'll do this with other videos as well. But be sure if you're going to sew leather on any home sewing machine, including this one, that you choose, <clears throat> that you choose a, uh, a very light wallet weight leather. And you can see how, uh, how, how flexible and floppy this is, almost like paper. Um, belt leather, um, saddle leather, shoe leather, uh, you, you really should not run them through machines like this. I've seen people online do that, but I think that's uh, a way to harm a machine because it wasn't designed for that. These uh, vintage home machines that I sell, they are generations older. They're going to run for many more generations but they have to be used for what they were created for, which is quite a lot, actually. So now I've sewn through. This is a lighter weight fabric. And I also have, uh, you can see the, I believe you can see them, yeah, the turquoise stitches. I don't know if they show up very well. But I have got, this is a heavyweight upholstery fabric I've used on some other machines. And I've got four layers in this particular one. And I'm going to run four layers of a pretty heavy fabric through this machine so you can see it behave. And I'm just using the, the zigzag foot. I haven't even put the roller foot on there yet. Um, and <clears throat> we'll see how she goes. And you can see it sews really well. I can even slow the needle down. I can back tack, of course. And when you're sewing a heavy fabric like this, you can use a denim tip needle, and that makes the machine's job a little easier. Um, and let's, I'm going to run it through again. And that's sort of a medium speed. It will go faster, but I find that if you're doing really heavyweight fabrics, you don't want to run it at top speed. I, I don't have the sewing skill to, to do that at top speed anyway. Um, but if you do, uh, if you run it at too high a speed with a heavy fabric, sometimes the needles themselves can't take it. The machine can, but the needles will sometimes, uh, uh, you can break or bend a needle that way. And that's true on any machine, really. So you can see, let me see if I can pull this up to you guys, and you'll see the, yeah, on this right here, you should be able to see the turquoise thread. The light's a little, it's a little bright for you guys, but <clears throat> here's another sample that I did on the machine yesterday, and I'll run it through again so you can see. Uh, again, the Necky was a legendary machine. They, they were once made in Italy. The, the modern Neckys, if you find one, they're all made in China, so they're not, and they're not made to anything close to this standard, sadly. Now I'm going to come down, <clears throat> since I have a straight stitch here already, I'll come beside it and we'll keep, um, let's do a zigzag. 
so it'll be obvious that it's different. I'm going to show you something about the necky that's unusual with its zigzag. Right now I have a long stitch length wide zigzag. I'm going to come down and here, let's see what I'm looking at here. This is the, the zigzag it's making. It's, it's, it's a very balanced, nice zigzag. But now I'm going to shorten the stitch length and I want to show you guys something because the Nekis are known to do amazing zigzag at a very tight one, tighter than most machines. And some of you who sew will know this, uh, it's sometimes referred to as a satin stitch uh, because it mimics embroidery. And the Neki is one of the few machines that, that will do this. Um, for some of you it won't matter, but if having a really tight satin-like stitch that's consistent, the Neki is pretty amazing. Um, now, because we're in the medium to medium heavy fabric, I'll go ahead and speed it up. So let's take a look at this. It may actually read better from a distance. Yeah, that's a pretty incredible stitch. And you know, again, this machine was built uh, around 1952-53. And it's, uh, it's incredible. It's, it's ready for a lot of heavy duty sewing, but of course <clears throat> you can do free motion embroidery. It has the ability to drop its feed dogs if you wish. There's a little stitch you, or a little switch down below here. Uh, you can't see it on the camera, but it's right down here. And you can lower your feed dogs. You can do free motion sewing embroidery if you wish. Uh, but again, the machine's pretty amazing. It comes with quite a few attachments that I've shown in the, in the uh, photos on the uh, Craigslist ads. So if you have any questions, email me or uh, set up a time to come take a look and uh, we'll have uh, some, uh, we can do some test sewing on it and uh, I'll answer any questions I can for you. Thanks.